I think, you know, you can't put upon poetry religious socially redeeming burdens and expect it to. It's an art form, like a song is an art form, like a play is an art form, like a movie is an art form. Um, if songs and plays and films and poetry saves your life, I mean, I spend my entire life in most of those things. Uh, is my life saved? Um, it's certainly transformed. Saved, I'm not sure, redeemed perhaps, or made conscious where it ought to be conscious, made unconscious where it ought to be unconscious. So uh, I don't see poetry as a you know, great answer to everything, um, if that's what we mean by saved. Um, I've been in too many revival tents talking about let's get born again, to go very much with that language. I think anything that doesn't change you uh, is probably entertainment. I love to see the Rockettes kicking up their legs and, and everyone's wearing the same size costume. But I don't walk away from that with very much to gnaw upon. It was, it was tremendously beautiful and diverting the moment I was seeing it, but you know, it really wasn't of much substance beyond that. Well, I love the Rockettes. I, I, I like to be entertained as much as the next fellow. Um, but there is a difference between being changed, uh, being haunted, thinking about things for days, coming back and rereading something, something that just rewards a first viewing, as I think the Rockettes do, um, and a poem or a play or a song. I mean, a good song I can listen to hundreds of times. Uh, in fact, I do listen to my favorite songs hundreds of times, um, compulsively almost because I want to inscape them, memorize them, have them in me everywhere I go, every moment I go. So they change in a, in a long process of accrual and uh, internalization. I believe deeply in that. Um, but do I believe, you know, I don't, things that are merely performative, uh, they're fine to see for, for a one-time viewing, but that's finally not very satisfactory to me.